Once upon a time, there was a race, an adventure race that took place at Lake Crescent. But that was before, before bureaucracy got in the way. And one day it no longer made sense for the organizers to continue the race. It was a sad time for all and despair prevailed. But then hope arose in the form of a virtual race from the Hawaiian Islands. The Molokai to Oahu was a world-renowned event and it introduced a virtual format over the pandemic. We realized that this was a format that would solve many of our adventure race problems as well. And so the Lake Crescent virtual race was born. Now participants could show up to the lake and paddle together as a team, or they could do the race in their own time and space and submit their results. Submissions came from large cities like Seattle and from as far away as a river in Oregon. We did the original course on Lake Crescent in memoriam of great adventure races of years past. This is our story. There's definitely some sun and blue sky up there, so uh, it is not quite 8 a.m. Feeling like, oh, some kayakers out there, how about that? Feeling like I might do the medium course, which is the same course as the previous Lake Crescent races. You show up at 8 a.m., nobody's here. So out here, Maple Point, East Beach, I think that point, and then back here. Getting a little warmer. Jacket's off. So this is Maple Point. I think we are gonna go till we can see bottom. I feel like until you see bottom's pretty good. Speech past the, that ridge there? Yeah, I think it's like basically the furthest, furthest down. like following a line of bubbles, following a pathway in the water, pathway left by a canoe, outrigger canoe. So nice. Like big old tree. That's amazing. Isn't that? I think we can call that the buoy. <laughs> Super cool. Yeah, wonder why people were free diving here. Weehoo! Yeah, I might do that. About kind of come around Thunderhead Point. Getting closer. Back into Olympic National Park. That's cool. It's awesome. People in the water. People on the water. So cool. Hey Carl, there's divers in the water as you come around uh, Thunderhead Point. Just so you know, no worries, but don't freak out and think there's like the Loch Ness Monster. Over. Sprint to the finish line. Away we go. Let's see if we can catch that outrigger canoe now that we've been flapping our lips. Almost to the end here. 
Richard's just about to get to the dock. Look at that, how nice. Pretty good. I know, I hear my watch beep, I'm like, well, there's two. What do we get on mileage, 8.5? Uh, I got, I have like 8.12 nautical miles, so yeah, probably 8.5. Okay, cool, not bad. And across we go. Oh, really? Oh, dude. All right, I absolutely love it. That was 9.4 miles. No muss, no fuss, no legalities, no bureaucracy. Just a super fun paddle on the lake with friends. This is, this is an awesome format. Definitely gonna have to do this for more races. My goodness, what a win. What an incredible success. What an incredible day. And it's not even over yet because we're going to, to a burrito place. What was the name of that burrito place, Carl? Well, we're gonna go to Little Devil's Lunchbox, but they are closed, so they don't get to be our featured business. <laughs> 